When working with a large program, especially one with parts you didn't write yourself, like our TCP IP stack or USB framework, it can be very difficult to determine all the possible paths your code can take when debugging your application. In situations like this, MPLabX's call graph feature might be just the tool you need to untangle a complex web of function calls. The call graph is always focused on a specific function and can tell you which function it calls or which functions call it. To view the call graph, select a function in your code, right-click, and select Show Call Graph. At the bottom, we will see the call graph window open, and on the right-hand side, you'll see a visual description of how the function is related to those which it calls. On the left-hand side, we have a tree-like structure that we can use to drill down to even deeper levels in our program. In this case, not too many of these are calling other functions, so we're not going to see anything here. But we know that this one is showing who is called by this function by the depressed icon in the small toolbar here on the left. We can change this view to show who calls this function by clicking on the other icon, in which case we can see that this delay function is only called by main. We can also refocus the call graph on another function by selecting it in the tree on the left-hand side, and then clicking on the little icon that looks like an eyeball with an arrow coming out of it. Now we'll flip it around. And of course, nobody calls main, but if we click on the icon to switch the view, we can now show all the functions that are called by main. Now on the graphical side, if you double click on one of the arrows, it'll take you to the point in the program where the function is called, in this case, by main. So we can see LCD init here is called from main. If you double click on one of the boxes, it will take you to the definition of that function, or in this case, the function prototype, since the function comes from a library. If you right click in a blank area of the graph, you can select export and save the file as a PNG type image file, which you could then perhaps use in your documentation. The call graph provides a convenient way to navigate through complex code and to see all the paths your program can take. It can be an invaluable resource when debugging large, complicated programs. For MPLabX TV, I'm Rob Ostopic.